Hey, hello. How are you? You doing well? I hope you I hope you are. I'm doing pretty well, actually, right now. Things improved rapidly. Ugh. Still tired. <clears throat> but I'll get some good sleep tonight. Anyway. You're like fucking more fancy. Our adventure continues. Bum ba da da da. Oh, I kind of want to turn off. Mountain music. How do I keep going out this way? I want to listen to the playing music for a while. Anyway, what we are doing today is go back to the main story. I've been doing a lot of random stuff on my own. I unlocked Blue, started working on Botanist. I got Black Mage up. I actually really like Blue. I wish they were a real class. But sometimes it be like that. Da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, I also bought an apartment. I bought an apartment. But I don't have anything in it yet, so. Because I literally just bought it, hence why all my money's gone. Look at this. 74,000. Who is this poor nerd? Who is this guy? Where all his money ain't, though? Nah. It's fine. <laughs> Got him excited. I want to get to heaven's word, god damn it. What up, Alvin? The nerve of some petitioners engaging us as if we were a co band of common mercenaries. I should be glad to refuse them all without a second thought. I do every quest that I am that I inquire behind, uh, after. Rude. I've already listened to you. I believe I've listened to everyone except for Alphano, who turned out to be an asshole. Yeah, I've already listened to all that. I got all this meat in my inventory that I can't sell via merchants because it's cheap. I might as well throw it in a merchant. Make a couple pennies. Whoa. What is this? A re-emerging primal problem. What is this? I know you have scarce had the chance to rest, but I'm afraid there's still work to do.
The ultimate weapon's destruction, to would seem, has served to embolden the Beastmen, who now seek to call down their gods once more. Even as we speak, the Amalja, the Ixil, and the Kobolds are making preparations for their respective summoning rites. Why are the Kobolds capitalized? And that is but half of it. Much to our dismay, all three tribes were somehow able to procure vast quantities of crystals. Oh, my turn to say something. Ahem. <laughs> Basically, this means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Far, far stronger. Their previous incarnations will seem as pale imitations. The beast tribes, we believe, began hoarding crystals with a vengeance in the wake of the Ultima Weapon's maiden appearance. You remember that as the You remember that as the time it devoured three primals in one sitting. The grand companies are aware of the potential primal outbreak. Alas, due to the losses they incurred to ensure the success of Operation Archon, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. After deliberation, the leaders concluded that they must needs turn to us once more. To thee. The etheric waves that were observed in Mordona do not appear to bear any connection to any beast tribe. Yet much and more still remains beyond our knowing. We must be prepared for all possibilities. I am loath to send you into the midst of danger again so soon. But none have proven themselves more capable against the primals than you. Will you undertake this mission, Weevil? Ye. Yeah. You have my thanks. I truly do not know what we would do without you. Go ahead, Thancred. Ahem. With the circumstances as they were, I haven't had the chance to properly express my gratitude. I owe you my life, Weevil. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. A string of failures had left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger that I might do right by my fellow Scions. Sorry about that. But instead, I caused you all no end of grief and suffering. I swear to you, it shan't happen again. Owing to everyone's ministrations, I'm quite recovered now. I hope to return to my duties again soon. Thankrude's return marks the beginning of a new chapter for the Scions. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press ever forward. Now then, back to the matter of the primals. With no fewer than three of the beings threatening to appear, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. We must take one we must take it one sure step at a time. Buryan J has the overview of the situation as it stands. Please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission. God he's tall. And I am so small. Where'd he go? Yanja, you shit. Get back here. Why'd you go all the way out here? Why don't I have Fist of Wind equipped? Up, 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 up. Excuse me. Yo. I can float. Such knowledge as I possess of the beast tribes and their primals is at thy disposal. Whether man or beast man, we are wont to seek power when plunged into the black depths of despair. That despair doth begin with the Amalja, who may have already summoned a fourth Ifrit. Or a freed, I suppose. With our comrade Thancred now returned, thou wouldst we do well to seek his counsel. No reward. Oh, man. Dum -ba -da -ba. Free to bleed, we can kill it. <laughs> Confirmation has just arrived from the Immortal Flames. This is Zurian J said, I fear. The Amalja have already summoned Ifrit. A confrontation with the Lord of the Inferno is inevitable. I'd like nothing more than to lend you my blade, but the students of Aldesian insisted that I refrain from taking to the field where it concerns primals. 
I know not the workings of it, but it would seem that recent events have left me especially susceptible to tempering. As much as I hate missing out on the fun, for everybody's sake, I must sit this one out. Instead, I will focus on gathering and, ad and analyzing data. Now, the Immortal Flames have already conducted a preliminary investigation into Ifrit. They may well have information that will be of use to you. Do pay a visit to the Hall of Flames and speak with Commander Swift. One last thing before you depart. Doubtless you remember Menphilia's words, but this Ifrit is a far cry from the primal you first defeated. You'll want to assemble your most dependable comrades for the mission. Be safe, my friend. Uh, don't get possessed again. Okay, bye. Um. Menphilia appears to be lost in thought. The price of principles. Hmm? Weeble, it pleases me to see you well. Do excuse me for interrupting, Weeble. My lady, the gentleman from Ashgana Exports, has just left. I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. Ashgana Exports. Who? You did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this morning. <coughs> Thank you, my lady. Hello. Hello. That's you. That's how you sound. Ever since we defeated Gaius von Baelsar and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Where once we worked in secret, with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more than eager than the last to offer his complete support. The true embarrassment of riches. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. They'll make their intentions known from the start. While others endeavor to engage us more subtly, dress it how they will. The message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. The gentleman Tataru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Naturally, I refused him, as I have every, every other merchant of Azilk. Alas, the syndicate's overtures are not so easily rejected. When we formed the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this to be true, and yet... And yet... If accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? Our Baldesian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to... Well, forgive me. I did not mean to burden you so. Yet my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. My time imposed upon you to consult the others. They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Oh my god. We're putting together a debate club. You stole a thanker with Papalimo, Ida, Ida, and Yurianji. Yurianji. We're not going to ask Alpha no or Sid. Hey, Manfilia doesn't respect your opinion. I hope you know that. I suppose Sid is in the middle of fucking nowhere. That lad went all the way to fucking Mordona. He ain't coming back. He's probably coming back. Anyway, hello, I've become one with the table. Table wobble. 
recall you are meeting with the Admiral shortly after the Lamincin sent word of the summoning of Titan. Then mayhap you may also recall my words to our host. I said unto Merle Vib that her people had broken their treaty with the Kobolds, and that the Beastmen had justly responded. That we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she ha herself had invited. I spoke in short the truth. And wherefore did I speak it? Because, no, owing no allegiance to Limsa, I felt no compulsion to allow the Lamensons to distort the facts to fit a narrative which justified their actions and absolved them of guilt. Upon this subject, Manvilia can expect a similar reply. Our many dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality. But the path she contemplates would see us relinquish it entirely. I mean, I base, I, I literally work for Wulda. That's fine because Wulda is the best city. Fortune begets power, and power fortune. That we, and especially you, have power is beyond doubt. Question is what to do with it. You may be interested to know that there is a growing belief amongst the refugees that Alamigo could be liberated. Only the Scions would commit their strength to the cause. If theirs is but one of many causes, we stand at a crossroads, Weeble. Each path is paved with good intentions, but where they lead is far from clear. <laughs> I smell us going to Alamigo in the near future, Anvald. Ida. I've been receiving a lot of gifts lately, but Papa Limo keeps making me send them back. Wouldn't be so bad, but some of them are really nice. I mean, very nearly abandon your principles nice, you know? Hmm. I too would abandon my principles for a Babylon body pillow. None can deny that we would benefit from more support, but if it comes at the cost of our principles... Neutrality was ever a delicate matter. Plus, the count of the times I've had to explain to people that our allegiances need not necessarily lie in the same blaze as our headquarters. Mind you, if we are to sell our services for Gil, we might as well declare our fealty to Old Da now and have done with it. I'm quite sure Ida would enjoy the bribes. She likes money. Is the lot of the powerful to attract the covetous as well as the needy. Thus doth prudence dictate that those with power proffer aid with one hand, whilst the other resteth ever on their hilt. Alas, we have not the luxury of time to decipher a petitioner's machinations. Nay, not while the beast tribes do labor unseen to find and defeat, to raise up their fallen primals once more. Doubt not that they shall return, stronger and bolder both, nor that we shall be the ones to meet them. This sacred charge shall ever be ours. It is but a pity we are so few, and their fortunes so finite. Uh, how much How much money do we need? I can get some gill. I got like 74k. It's not a lot, but... I can pay for repairs. Yo, what up? Now we care about his opinion. Hmm. The situation. What the hell? Why am I overcovering the box? I shrink. Oh no, I shrank too much. That's fine. I too have given much thought to our organization's future, though it would seem I've reached a different conclusion. Mayhap it is time I made my feelings known to the antecedent. Come along, Weevil. Okay. I will follow you, knee-high boots men. Alphano. Weevil. Is ought to miss. You desired counsel, and so you shall have it. Menphilia, the scions of the Seventh John must leave Ulda. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't say anything. You must do what? 
So long as we remain within, within Wildan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving our headquarters to Vesper Bay only delayed the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate has taken note. They will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. Surely you realize they are the reason Vesper Bay still lacks an Aetherite. They know full well how beneficial one would be to our cause. Which is why it and other favors will be denied us unless we cooperate. Ulda is no longer suitable. Where would you have us go? Mordona! It doesn't belong to any city. Experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is as important as the reality. Accordingly, we must keep a, each of the great nations at arm's length and plant our banner in a place which all agree to be beyond their borders. The Garlean Empire. More Dona. I like donuts. Revenant stole, to be precise. It lies within neutral territory and offers all the essential facilities we require. By way of an additional benefit, it is also frequented by a veritable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. I am, of course, conscious of the fact that we de developed a certain bond with Uldah and her people over the years, but I truly believe this to be the best course of action. As you yourself observed, we have invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concerted effort. Uldah. Uldah is our home, Alfino. To cast aside everything we have built and start anew in that desolate wasteland would be beyond reckless. The decision is yours to make, Antecedent. I ask only that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to found the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and which moved you to found the Path of the Twelve ere that. We aspire to an ideal, you and I, just as my grandfather did. That makes us more than mere comrades in arms. We are as much your family as... Gandalf. That will be all, Alphino. Wait, does he have a rune? I'm sure you have some familiar affairs of your own to attend to. Yeah, where the fuck's your sister? Your concern is most generous, but no. I've left them in the hands of men better suited to the task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the Order, after all. Where the fuck did his sister go? Hmm. Oh god. Yeah, my ring is so much better. <laughs> Whew. Yikes. That's what that's what ten levels will do you. That's what fucking 185 item level will do you. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with the mun. Dum ba da dum ba da 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 dum ba da ba. Eagle has completed a venture. Oh my god. One second. I can't get on the desk. God damn it. Is that a Germanic rune? Isn't that H? Isn't that Haggle? Isn't that what it's called, Haggle? Shit, there's a fucking sightseeing right now. Yeah, that's Haggle. Or Hyle. Hyle. Also known as Hail. Like the ice falling from the sky is what that word, that, that rune is. Anyway, I will be right back. 
because I have a sightseeing thing to do. We need to go really quick to Lower Lenosha. We'll be doing this every so often whenever one pops up. We need to go to Cedarwood. This is all the way north. Zoom all the way in. Look at my ass. What? And we've changed music. I don't even have mounted music going on. Okay, we're going to like the tip of like a long house. I almost closed the entire page, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to 31.6 and 12.8. We're going all the way up here. We still got a minute. No, I'm not doing that fate. Here. Look out. Complete. While we're here, let's... Stretch my face out a little bit. So I can block a bit more of the box. You guys want to see how many sightseeing logs I've done? Look at this. Look at all these, dude. Pretty cool. Anyway, make use of all these Aetherite tickets that we're about to run out of. Map feels like medieval times. This map is like pirate land. How are you, Bacon? This fine day. That's a fucking car. Wild. Where's my minion? Apparently, I can't have a minion in here. Mission complete. Report to the barracks for debriefing. Maybe later. Still can't jump on the desk. Disappointed! Why is there a figure in the sea? Because it's a mermaid. Probably. Cooking sherry. Getting wine? Evil da. Is it truly come to this? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, Weevil. Pray attend to Alfie now. He is engaged in some business or other and requires your assistance. Pray be on your way. Alpha no waits upon you and I have much to think about. Oh, and uh, tell him he shall have as my answer in due time. A huge figure. It's probably Leviathan. A giant sea serpent. Worshipped by the Zahagin. Confounded. She knows what must be done and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. I should explain. Menphilia's mother, well, adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the Calamity. Philomen was her name, though you may know her better as the songstress of Ulda. She was a performer of singular talent, and much beloved by the people of Eorzea, 
Not to mention a certain Charlayan minstrel. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what had happened. That her body was never found only served to encourage speculation. Benfilia, too, struggled at first to accept the truth. But Philomon's absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Until recently, at any rate. For whatever reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that Philomon was, is alive and well. One of our informants, Father Iliad, has sent word that a woman matching the songstress's description has been seen of late at the seaside resort of Costa del Sol. If we could succeed in tracking her down, I have no doubt that any worries that now plague Menphilia's heart might be assuaged. I mean to set forth for Lenoche at once. Let us reconvene there and inquire with Master Gegaruju as to the veracity of these rumors. I'll beat you there. Because I can teleport. <laughs> I win the race! Uh, instant transmission! He was adopted? Alpha? No. Alpha no was not adopted. I think. Menphilia was. A weird... Weird owner of Costa del Sol. Oh, hey. No, not you. Ah, you arrived. Let us see if Master Gegaruju can shine any light onto the rumors regarding Philomen. How the hell did you get here so quick? Oh my god. Oh wait, a Dark Knight. That is a big ass shark. I'm gonna go punch it in the nose. Hey! Hey, come here! Grrr. Shark? 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 Disappointed! Minecraft small. I am as small as Minecraft. Look at my little boy. He's a little punchman. I am capable of rescinding kneecap privileges. Except to you. Ah, oh, oh sweet siren of the sands, my Makote muse. Why have you forsaken me? Titan's Bane, I mean, Weeble. What brings you to my humble resort? A lawman. You mean to tell me the god has made flesh who dwelt among us until so very recently was the songstress of Uldha? Gads, man, if I had known that, I would have changed her to my bedpost and never let her leave. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, for shame. To think that she now applies her trade to the riffraff of the off to the west or wherever she said she was going. It's a tragedy, I say, a tragedy. West, is it? Thank you, Master Kakaruju. Your information will serve us well. That said, there are any number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge to spare. It would be most appreciative if you could travel onto Wineport and do the same. Fun fact, every proceed to grow brain. If I only had a brain. I wish I had a brain. So the, Blaine, Bra the main character IQ is equal to your character level. Unfortunate. We. <laughs> we. Ice bean. 
never been in here. Is there anything in here? This is just some spooky evil guys. Seems like spooky evil guys. I assume there will be quests in here later. What's down here? Nothing. Can't even walk on the ground. What a sorry state of affairs. Ooh. Bum 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 bum. Shoo. 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 Oh, I figured we were talking to Shimani. Shimon. Hello. Hi. Well, if it isn't Weevil, the savior of Wineport, to what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, uh, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold to give the woman her due, but her perfume was so ghastly, I had no choice but to reject her from the privacies. Interfering with tastings, you understand. Choose your quarry, why not consult your blind associate? His olfactory perception is without peer. Even that I could smell the woman from a mile away, I dare say he could smell her from tin. Stinky. Hey, Shimona. Yeah, this into the navel clings to you still. Ew! You truly think me that perceptive? Nah, no, I learned of your victory from Captain Vaskit. I raised a glass in your honors that very eve. Mmm, you smell like navel. Oh. Eh. Can't just say that to someone. Hey, Jungber. Eh. You want to know if I've seen a Makote last by the name of Falamin? I wish. I haven't seen a lass of any description for far too bloody long. I see. I'll have to go talk with Shimon. Up -ha. I live on your roof. I see you've had many grand adventurers since last we spoke, Weeble. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much when we spoke. Spoke? Spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south and to rain cut her gully. And then head east after crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent you see. If you make haste, you may yet find her there. Oh, wowie. All the way down there. Flip, 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 flip. Hmm. What do you think the odds are she's dead? Or a demon? A dead demon. A dead demon. A daddy. Daddy man. Oh, hey, I found you. What are you doing? Whoa! Rude. Hey, what you doing? I'm in your debt, stranger. I did not realize my activities had arised the Gubu's ire until it was too late. It didn't seem to bother you at all. The royals can be used to make a perfume, you see, and I... Hey, you dead. Well, I mean, I'm... I don't... Who are you? Whom do you serve? I serve ma'am. It appears you've already found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. The songstress of Ulda, I presume. Menphilia, or should I say Asilia, is looking for you. Asilia? 
You're the very picture of health, milady, yet the world thinks you dead. We can only conclude that this was by design. The question is, why? Not everyone who endeavors to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You will be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Menphilia when the time is right. Oh, well, that does please me. More than you know. But tell me, sojourns in the forests of Lenosia aside, when exactly will the time be right? When I deem it so. Do you imagine I traveled all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity, or would you interrogate me further? My apologies for the interruption. Anyway, now that we have all... Now that we have all that which we came for, might we continue this conversation in a safer locale? Wineport, say. Asilia. Assian? Then Philly is an Assian. Oh my god! The ultimate betrayal twist. Twist trail. Betwist. I can't believe it. You wouldn't do this to me. Not me. Hover hands, McGee. That's a wall. A flapjack. Rescued yet again from the jaws of a ravenous gubu. How quickly we forget the lessons of the past. Though I was not solely to blame for that foolishness. Hmm. References that I don't understand. This, this is not at all how I had envisioned it. We can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go from, through Menphilia's heart when she reunites with her mother after all these years. It'll be adorable. I'll take this... this... Uh, mm. Mm. You know, I'll take the money. I'll get a better ring for Black Mage later anyway. Mm, look at my glasses. Look at my head. Look at my other head. Look at no head, but I got this very cute armor. Anyway. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay, yes? I've kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off on the, off on the next ferry. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Waking Sands. Oh my god, I teleported. Oh my god. Wild. Hey, I found your ma'am. <laughs> Antecedents, you have a guest. Lamine? Asilia. Oh my god. Ugh. I haven't seen her in this like this in years, Weevil. Oh. I I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead. But, but he kept you away for so long. The Imperials came for me as I always knew they would. And so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, lest the pursuit of me endanger you and our cause. 
I can think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue what you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success and celebrated in secret. I am so proud of you, Asilia. I learned from the best. Aww. I have a gift for you. Take it. Sal Salsedia perfume, you remember it. How could I ever forget? You wore it all the time. If I ever lost sight of you, I could just find you again just by following my nose. I do not think it was made anymore. I did not think. It was gone to so much trouble. Yeah, there was like a big sack of potatoes that tried to eat me. It was no trouble to me, my darling. I cannot, I fear I cannot say the same for Weeble, however. I could not have made it without him. Thank you, Weeble. Thank you both. Hey, no prop. There's something else. Mm, goldfish. This... This is the cat's eye I found. All these years you've kept it. My father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Ulda. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lamine who took care of me then. She raised me as, as her own. Taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm, I am no stranger to the facts of your history, as I fear I failed to grasp their implications. It is clear that there is much I do not know, but you and your mother both. One of her first lessons to me concerned mining, and I was a very dedicated student. I diggy hole. That's I was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was so exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. So I give it to Lamine as a gift. She said it was beautiful. But there I am at a loss. Why are you returning this to me? Something amiss? No, we silly, and nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come. And how much further you may still, must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I ever could have hoped. Hoped? Hoped. You've succeeded where I failed, and made me so proud that... That words fail me. This is very wholesome. But even as I marvel at the woman you've become, at all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of that which you have yet to do. And of what it may entail. Asilia, daughter, you cannot stay in here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Ulda. Oh, Ma'am. I like living in the desert. Lamine. You built it once, Asilia, you can build it again. And this time we'll do it together. What'll they do with the Waking Sands? Truly? New member acquired. Acquired, as Subnautica would say. Alpha, no. The time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish a new headquarters in Revenant's Toll, as you propose. It's purple there sometimes. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldesian. Preparations begin at once. Hello. Hope you don't die.
That would be tragic. Hey, give me... Ooh, chokers. Oh, God. Why is it so robotic looking? Why does this look like a treadmill belt? Hmm. I'll just take the money. Oh, hey, more chokers. Laying the foundation. Oh my god. It is all well and good that we have found ourselves a new home in Revenant's Toll. But there is so much to be done and in so little time. Our first step will be to, sec will be to secure the cooperation of the Adventurer's Guild representatives there. Were it not for the Guild's considerable efforts, the original Camp Revenant's Toll would never have been established, much less its more heavily fortified successor. However, with construction still ongoing, and resources in short supply, it seems certain that the Guild will require something in return for their support, sympathetic to our cause, though they may be. Whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need them more than they need us. Without their assistance, such essential tasks as securing new facilities, cultivating relationship, relationships with local merchants, and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, if not impossible. Yeah, you need not concern yourself with such matters antecedent. Who the hell are these nerds? Really, Alpha? No, if I need concern myself with anything, it is surely matters such as these. Indirectly, perhaps. I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter. Namely, to whom the resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am. Nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed emissary of the Adventures Guild at Revenant Toll. Revenant's Toll. I called him a nerd. I can't believe I've done this. Why do you look like the guard? This is just the guard from... No, he's got a different hair color. It reminds me of the, uh, the garden will die that lets you into the throne room. It is an honor, antecedent. Upon receiving word of your intentions for Master Alfino, we thought it best to begin talks at earliest available opportunity. Know that my associates of Revenant's Toll hold the scions of the Seventh Dawn in highest regard. We should be honored to welcome your organization. I don't know what his accent's doing. It's slipping and sliding. It's weebling and wobbling, and it is, in fact, falling down. There are, of course, certain provisions which must needs be negotiated. If it would please you, I would do so. It does. So, unless I am much mistaken, you are the one known as Weeble, are you not? May I say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance. I think your thing will just be randomly changing accents. Laughborn spoke of you with the most glowing terms. To steal Imperial Reaper and then use it to infiltrate a Garlean Castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate. Then fewer still survive. You shall always be welcome at Revenant's Toll. We hope you will favor us with your presence again near long. Yeah, I'll be there in like five minutes. Don't worry about it. Also, you're the best place to level up... Uh, Level of crafters or gatherers before I go to fucking before I, before I get to the next zone. Well, well, it would seem your reputation precedes you, evil. Mayhap I should dispatch you to Revenant still with all haste as first intended. But before that, I dare say you have earned yourself a rest. After all, you have traveled so far, and there's already so much you've done for us and for me. We will speak again and on. Till then, take care. Okay, bye. I don't know what I'll do. Wait in duty finder for Odin again? Still haven't gotten in there. God, I want to fight Odin. Ah, Weevil. Were you able to get some rest? 
I would ask you to come with me to the solar. Alphano has just returned, and it would seem there is something he would share with us. Nor why I was on Zoom. You got it. Welcome back, though, Bacon. I'm going with my mom to go to move to a new school. It was for school. I understand. School is more important than Final Fantasy. You're here. Good. I come bearing news. The negotiations are concluded. And... Our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Revenant's Toll. How's your school going, going by the way? The Scions of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the Rising Stones. The Waking Sands, the Rising Stones. A bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I took... I had come to look forward to talk through these tales of our many guests and their many, many demands. From the waking sands to the rising stones. Passably poetic. It wasn't your doing, was it? <laughs> what a funny nerd. God, what a Shakespearean nerd. It was just a quiz. Ah, I see. Do you think you did well? I too have news to share. In expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the alliance, the alliance leaders of our plans. They have each pledged their full support. General Robon included. Raubon. Robon? General Robin. Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Everyone knows we exist anyway. There wasn't a score for me after I beat it. Do you feel like you did well at least? It, I suppose is more directly what I was asking. Are you sure that is wise antecedent? If anything, it is a mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eorzea. Literally everyone knows we exist. Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, that they may all, that they, uh, there, yeah, that all may know what the Scions of the Seventh Dawn stand for. Well, obvious risks apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. We go for the renown so we can get different title, titles other than Chicken Chaser. And the people have a right to know who saved them. It is my hope that this gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. I would reveal to them the true extent of our power, yes. But in so doing, I would show them that power is a, that it is a power accountable to no one, and at once to all. And what of us? We who have felled primals and faced down the Empire. To you, my fellow Scions, I would say this. Prepare for the challenges which lie ahead. For they will be a great indeed. I look forward to great challenges. Great, I say, yet no greater than us. And we will rise to them as we have time and again, united as one. Go team! Woohoo! <laughs> has to be some way I can. Wait, that area is said to be rich in minerals. Maybe I should ask Falamin to teach me the basics of mining too. I can teach you. I, I got multiple different types of, types of jobs if you want one. I got monk abilities. This is my monk abilities. I got black mage abilities. These are my black mage abilities. I got gladiator abilities. I don't got a lot of them. I got good mining abilities. I'm really good at mining. Look at that. I'm level 60 miner. I got some alchemy abilities. Not a whole lot, but look at my hat. 
I got decent weaving about uh, weaving power. I'm like a weaving wizard. I'm a better goldsmith though. Do I have any better gear? Negative. I'm a shit carpenter, but I know how to saw. I'm a shit conjurer. Moving on. I'm a decent botanist. Look at my axe. Don't look at my ass, though. And I got a little bit of blue power. Now all I need to do is give you a soul. But first, I need to acquire souls. I may be evil and a demon, and I may suck the souls out of the innocent. But I'm also adorable, so please forgive me. Do you ever wonder how he does it? Alpha, no, I mean. It was almost predictable that he should appear with the emissary of the Adventurer's Guild mere moments after I had expressed the need to forge ties between organizations. Truly is to sense the timing rivals even your own. Setting such mysteries aside for the present, I have a task for you. I would like you to deliver these documents to Slathborn. They concern our forthcoming move. Do take care on the road and represent us well, Weeble. Yeah. Hotel receptionist. That's my favorite job. I think it'd be funny if you go through the job and it'd be like secretary is like a job you could get. What's your abilities? Sorting paper. <laughs> Unless the entire class is just sorting documents. That'd be fucking funny. Hey guys, did you hear the new Final Fantasy expansion that's coming out? Did you see the new job? Oh yeah, what 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 is it? Oh, they got taxi driver. The Garlean threat may have abated, but there is no end to the work that we scions do. In our own unique ways, may every one of us continue striving to make a better Eorzea. All I can do is kill the wildlife. Job that I wish to get. Oh, taxi driver. Could they share equipment? An equipment set with samurai. She has grown since last we spoke. She puts me to shame with her accomplishments, and for that I am full glad. Okay, I think that was uh, the only thing new. Wait, why am I leaving out here? I can just... I can just go... Skadoosh. But you know what? Let me... Let me prove show you my house and making that we need to be we need to start a uh, acquiring furniture for I could probably buy some furniture from like for like real cheap go to your apartment Oh my god. I bought this for half a million. Look at the floor. Look at the floorboard. This one singular board is larger than me. This is like a full-sized house. <laughs> for a for a fucking for a Lalafell. It's like a full-sized house. It's crazy. Look at all these dances I know how to do. God, he's so talented. <laughs> anyway. Actually, I do kind of want to go see if I can buy some cheap furniture. I think the, the importer sells some. Some cheap shit that I can throw in, right? The Moldering Jester's Cap. The cha cha real smooth. That's my favorite emote. Yeah, dude.
Two hops this time. Ba ba. I can do this as well. It's very nice. Also got this. Look at me, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. That person's sitting in the the fountain all alone. That's pretty that's pretty sad. Is that a weird wind up laughing Taru Taru? This is not a Lalafell, this is a Taru Taru from Eleven. At least I think it's a I think this is a Taru Taru. It's got the black nose. Oh! oh, wow. Mission ended in failure, but that's okay. Mm, ba -da -ba. We don't need a healer. Hmm. Are the risks worth the rewards? I'm certain that none of you will damn it. Uh, let's do some border patrol then. Do, 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 do. All right, don't die. Gotta be another training course. All right. Oh, the book was a YouTube page. It was. That was me browsing Weeble's YouTube page. Oh god, I thought that guy was eating me out <laughs> for a second. I was like, oh! Ah! Weeble's got like a whole team of editors. This guy's got his own YouTube, man. State sponsored. Lieutenant Wobble, we thank you for coming. The Flame General will be heartened to hear that you've answered the call. As we've already relayed to the Waking Sands, Afrit has returned. The sake of peace in the region, we humbly request that you vanquish him. Problems to be found in his domain, the Bowl of Embers. To get there, you must use the beastman Aetherite found within the depths of Zaharak. The Amalja stronghold. The Amalja have constructed their own Aethernet from salvaged Aetherite strongs. This being the case, you should be able to use it without problem. No doubt you already know this from your fellow scions, but the present incarnation of Afrit is far stronger than the last. Facing with any fewer than seven of your stoutest comrades would be ill-advised. That is all the intelligence we have to share. The rest is in your hands. A brave for your victory and safe return. Oh, so he's hard. Uh, he's hard. God, that felt disgusting. Oh, there's a lot of people in Ildar right now, normally. Oh my god, is that a Naruto? Not normally this many people hanging around here. Everyone's usually hanging out at the Sapphire. Want to search up Weeble Wobble? You'll find multiple things. Does this guy not sell furniture? I thought he did. Da -da. Can I buy furniture for Poetics? On Peppa Pig Weebles Wobbles? That's not a Weeble Wobble. 
Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Go to Sapphire Avenue. Why would they do such a thing to Peepa? Because it's funny. In my opinion. How'd your venture go? Lightning rocks. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, no, I wanted to do I wanted you to do that. Go back in. Maybe I can send you mine. Oh shit! Your boy can bring me fucking crystals now, dude. Oh fuck. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need wind crystals. Shit. Shit, bro. Can't believe this. I need to buy this lad some fucking hats. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Here, take this vest. It doesn't look good on you. Take it anyway. Here, take this, uh... Take these, uh... Take this, uh... Okay, you got good pants. Take these espala... Es espadrilles. Better sledgehammer. These earrings don't do anything for you. Now that these. Alright, you've got enough gathering for him now. Awesome. Well, give me some fucking crystals. Eh? Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. Ice? Yeah, give me some ice crystals. I'll need them for crafting later. Give me that pennies. Uh, hmm. Sell this slug. Nope, never mind. Don't bother. What about the lightning rocks? Oh my god. Nice. Alright, what about Peagle? <laughs> Give me those pennies, please. Alright, what did you get from your venture? She got beans. Um, but up up. Now I need you. Well, I can't. I can't get you any. I can't actually get any of that because I haven't gotten there yet. I need to buy her some shit too, dude. Got all these things I need to do. Here, have some. Have some fucking beans. All right. Now what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? I'm lost. Furniture. Before that, however. We need to go to Zahara. Finish this quest to unlock the big Ifrit trial. All the way over there. Let's take my whale. Whale! 
Well, well, well. We'll get what we have here. Oh, hey, turtle. Whoa! Oh man, I can't fly over the canyon. Unfortunate. <laughs> Ignore me! Whoa! This music is intense. I crashed. And I haven't attuned to a crystal in forever. Awesome. I'll do that later. Now I need to go to Mardin. And that was some banging music. Before I talk to you, I want to go up here. Hello. You. Do I own all these? I do. Why is it so complicated? Did none of you sell? Did none of you sell furniture? What about you, independent merchant? Do you sell? Do you sell worms? Buy my gold. Thanks. I don't buy with a crown. Do you eat the crown? I'd eat the crown. But who are you? You're just uh, a blue lady, I suppose. Dabu di dabu die. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. I know someone sells furniture. Ah, maybe not. We got any mail? Negative. Alrighty, Slafborn. One moment. Still to expect a scion, but I didn't expect it to be you. It's been far too long, Weeble. You have something for me, yes? Yeah, he is. Uh, I got mail time. Let's see now. Yes, everything appears to be in order. We're staying with us for <gasps> a fellow immortal flame. Farewell, brother. 
We've been staying with us for a while, yes? Would that we had a dozen more like you? Since we don't, don't though, I'll just give you the work of a dozen men. Ah, I jest, I jest. No, you don't. That's what everyone does. It's what I do. That a naked... That's a naked tiger man. Give me the money. I buy the money. Oh my god, baby buffalo. What? Oh, I guess I, I did good. Whoa, level 70 weapon gopher. Dang. Hundred and twenty five. Back to do the work of a dozen men, I see. Ha! <laughs> but I jest. Even I can appreciate that an important man such as yourself has little time for menial tasks. But since you're here, mayhap you'd be keen on having a look around the Scion's new home. See that impressive structure over there? That's the place. It was originally built to house a branch of the guild, you see. As such, it comes with complete with a tavern where adventurers can rest from the road, fill their bellies with good food and drink, and that there is with tales of fortune to be had about the realm. Maybe get a, it may get a bit of raucous at times, but I imagine it'll be as good a place as any to recruit capable men and women to your cause. Come with me, and you'll see. I'll show you around. Colonel. Is that you, Weevil? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have the most urgent news. We received grim tidings from Gradania, and as it would appear, our aid is required at once. I must ask you to report back to the Waking Sands with all due haste. Is everything quite alright, Weevil? Friend? Sorry. Oh no, nice. Mustache. It's on the fritz, yo. Can't say that I'm privy to the details, but it would appear that this is no time for a leisurely tour. But no worries, you can rest assured that I'll see to all the necessary arrangements. Fair return any time after you've seen to your more pressing matters. This doesn't seem good. It's possibly a primal. It's probably a primal. What is action expansion? What does that do for us? What does that do for us? What are these? I don't know. But I did it. You're welcome, too cool. I helped. No, not go back to Ulda. We need to go to fucking Vith Vishper Bay. Vishper Bay. Chocobo. Wait a minute. That's a Gridanian Chocobo. Ew! Not Ulda. Ooh, fancy clothes. Looks very futuristic. Hello, it's me, Yahiro. Here to s wait. Hey, it's me. I'm supposed to talk to you. A message from the Twin Adder came to the Waking Sands while you were in Mordona. I wasn't privy to his conversation with the antecedent, but I did see the look on her face after he took his leave. Something is definitely amiss. Could it be that the Ixil have summoned Garuda again? Or mayhap Imperial forces have been sighted within the Shroud? Well, whatever may it may be, I'm absolutely certain it's nothing you can't handle. Now go and ask the antecedent if there's anything you can do. I'm going to save the world after I switch my mount. And by mount, I mean minion. 
We'll wind up Nanamo. Oh my god. Ba -ba -la -la -la. Of shattered sky. Hey. I knew this day would come, yet I prayed it would not come so soon. We have reason to believe that another primal, or an entity resembling one, has been summoned in Gradania. Well, it's new, it's not Ramu. The, uh, thine arrival is customarily timely, Weeble. The etheric waves leave little room for doubt. Thy talents will ne be needed ere long. If there be truth in my suspicions, it is a familiar foe we face, though one quite unlike the Lady of the Vortex. Sorry about that. We dare not draw conclusions without evidence, but as Urianje says, the readings bear a strong resemblance to ones observed more than five years ago. Ah, though I had hoped the Moogle's guard be on such follies. Moogle. Suffice it to say, this disturbance warrants a full investigation. Thy presence have thy presence hath been requested by Commander Ulwa. He awaiteth thee in the Adder's Nest. Race under Gridania, Weevil. Ida and Vapalima will rendezvous with you there. May you walk in the light of the crystal. I ain't seen the crystal in days, dude. You're noticing the random lag, it's because I'm clicking off the screen because I'm currently in a conversation with somebody. Sorry. Did the adder's nest. Where they got like snakes and shit. What does sightseeing log look like? Oh. Yo. We got some sightseeing to do. Yo, screw this place. Let's go to fucking Eastern Stanley. We gotta go all the way to the burning wall. All there, all the way over ye. God, that thing is huge. This thing disturbs me. I don't really like the way it looks. Um, ba -da, da -da -da -bum. All the way, on the way, on the way. We're going to 30.8, 26.5. We're going this way. Flip, flip, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, he's barred me. Hello, Mirror Knight. Flip, 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 flip. Gotta be down here.
Look at how pretty this place is. Is it above me? What the hell is this thing? This one. No. What the hell is it? When I arrived at a vista, at the vista, where is it here? <gasps> Hell yeah! Found it. This is a lookout. I claim that. We go back to Mordona. Sorry about this. These are very excessively timed. So you just do them when they pop up. All right now we go to cast him Sentry. Look at how purple everything is. I love it. The violet has arrived, and our world is ending. Sometimes it really do be like that. Who would have thought that the violet is made of bubbles? Huh. Nine point nine, thirteen point six. All right, where does this go? Ta da. Awesome. All right, now anyway, back to Gridani. <laughs> God, I need to get another drink. I'll probably be taking a break here soon to do some IRL stuff. And then I'll get a drink then. Bum -ba -da. Gotta go talk to this guy. Oh my god, there's so many people on. Why are there so many people on now? It's crazy. I love it. I wonder. Is anyone fucking playing? Why won't anyone play Rival Wings with me? <laughs> Is that a Shrek in his underwear? Yep, that's Shrek in underwear. 
I don't even want to play Rival Wings with me. A pleasure to see you as always, Weeble. Thank you for answering my summons. Quite frankly, I can think of no one more qualified to... Ah, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Allow me to explain. Uh, yeah. Give me the money. Also, I'll take that digital buffalo and add it to my pocket. And open up this coffer. Guarantee it wasn't very good. Indeed it wasn't. How does it compare? Fucking trash. Hell yeah, dude. That's what you get when you're 11, li 11 levels higher. This is what you get for over-leveling. Hail to the king, Kupo. Oh no. Not long ago, the Mugo Kuplo cop visited the Adder's Nest to request an audience with the Elder Seed Seer. He spoke of an imminent threat to all Mughal kind. One which would imperil the entire Twelves would if left unchecked. You've proved an able ambassador to the Sylphs, and we would have you reprise the role with in our dealings with the Mughals. Someone is turning in hella fucking qu uh, delivery quests over here. It has boosted all of their crafting classes crazily. That's what all those noises were with someone leveling up like mad. The rest you should hear from Kupla Cop himself. He awaits you with the Elder Seed Seer at the Lotus Stand. Which is in Old Gridania, correct? Oh god. Incoming Mughal boss fight. Oh wait, they're right over here. The Silent Conjurer. Would the spirits bless me business? Negative. Oh hey, a pointer. The other scions have already arrived, sir. May I show you in? Yeah. Hey, everybody's here. A threat to Mughal kind. Hmm. I had hoped the antecedent suspicions were ill-founded, but I cannot see who else it could be. Must be something bad to have gotten Kublai Kopp this worried. Have you seen the way his thing gummy is bobbing? Whoa! Whoa, excuse me, Ida. Can't just say that. Our guest has brought ill tidings which must needs be heeded. Isn't that right, Kubla Cop? Adorable. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this at all. This was Ryo's right. They've left us no choice, Kupo. Oh my god. Are we going to Moogle War? Please, you have to stop them. But, but you mustn't kill them. They're not bad Moogles, Kupo. They're just misguided. A gentle... No, a firm thrashing is in order, yes, but no. Calm yourself, Kupla Cop. Can't you see that... Can you not see that he hasn't the faintest idea what you're talking about? Be quiet this is instant. Pray forgive his witless outburst, sister. Most graceful, grateful am I that you have come, Weeble, and upon such short notice. Truly, Gridania could not wish for a more stalwart ally. But doubtless you were eager to, eager to know wherefore we summoned you. Our friend Kupla Cop has brought us news of a most unsettling development. It would seem that Ge Good King Mo uh, Good King Mogulmog, the Twelfth, has returned to Eorzea. There, whoa. Oh my god. A curious thing to hear, I know. Truth to tell, I myself cannot say for sure if he is a genuine figure from history or some manifestation of Mughal mythology. Google here would have me believe the former. Once upon a time, we Mughals served the gods in the heavens. It was quite nice up there. 
unspeakably beautiful, unimaginably spacious, and with a literally endless supply of wine, Kubo. In spite of this, or, or possibly because of the last part, the gods eventually became discontented and started squabbling which made life jolly difficult for the poor Mo uh, Mughals. The good king Mogul Mog the Twelfth, may his glorious name live forever, decreed that the time had come to leave Kupo. The realm of man would suffice, he said, so all the Mughals should live there instead. Unfortunately, the two realms are so far apart that we couldn't safely fly down. But good king Mogul Mog the Twelfth, may his for miraculous foresight ever be praised, Knew exactly what to do, Kupo. He had a rope, you see. The longest one ever ro woven. This he nobly held while his subjects climbed all the way down to the world below. And that is how we Mughals came to this land, Kupo. All except good King Mogulmog the Twelfth. May his courageous sacrifice never be forgotten. He alone would remain in the heavens so that Mughal kind might at last know peace. Except that he has not remained in the heavens, from what I understand. That being your reason for contacting us, yes. I bet he tied the rope to something. I'm thinking. Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Eorzea. Yeah. Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Eorzea. The problem, Ida, lies in the fact that he was summoned. It is our belief that Good King Mogulmog the Twelfth is a myth made manifest via means akin to those employed by the beast tribes in the summonings of their the summoning of their gods. Wait, you're saying a handful of Mughals with a boatload of crystals wished really, really hard, and he just sort of appeared? Would that even work? I cannot father, fathom is it, what I cannot fathom is why they would even try. With Garuda humbled and the ultimate weapon destroyed, what new threat could have prompted them to take so drastic a measure? Might that not in itself be the answer? Twice in the last half decade, Eorzea has been brought onto the very brink of destruction, only to be spared at the last by the heroics of a chosen few. To you who braved those tempests and survived by virtue of your own strength, this latest period of peace will doubtless seem a welcome respite. But to those who had not the power to defend themselves, who were spared only by another's grace, this is merely the calm before the storm. I think the Mogul's guard are afraid, afraid of what tomorrow will bring, and that things may not end so well as they did yesterday. That fear has driven them to call upon a greater power, one they believe can be relied upon to protect their loved ones and their homes come what may. I assure you, the Mogul's Guard only want to protect the forest from outsiders. But ever since the return of Good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth, may his boundless grace fill their hearts with love, they've started to get a little carried away, Kupo. Verging on a lot, in fact. Like the Sylphs who summoned Ramu, you mean? We cannot discount the possibility that this entity is influencing the Mughals in a manner similar to that of a primal. We share the same concern. Whoever or whatever the king may be, it is our belief that he poses a threat not only to Mughal kind, but to Gradania as a whole. Thus do we beseech you, Weevil. Confront good king Mogulmog the Twelfth and drive him from our midst. We're gonna fight a Mughal. Humbly, I do thank you. The Sanctuary of the Mogul's Guard and their liege lord is concealed by magical wards. Brother Asumi Yan of the Conjurer's Guild will doubtless be able to offer insight on how they might be dispelled. Pray seek his counsel ere you proceed any further. I'm sure this will go well. I'm going to kick a big Mughal's ace. When Moogles step up, I squash Moogle asses. How do you get into the...
Is there no way into the Lotus? You just have to teleport there? Interesting. All right, I will be right back. I need to do some IRL stuff real quick. I will see you in a couple minutes.
Hey, it's me, MB. In a second, I have to add this to the record. Alrighty. Records have been edited, and I also got snakes. I got Teddy Grahams. Not gonna lie, these taste kind of like shit. But anyway. Let's go finish this quest. Diddy. What a name. <laughs> Fucking normal. Welcome, Weeble. Welcome. That you should be the one to face good King Mogglemog the Twelfth is of great comfort. To me and the elementals both. As I am sure you know, the Mughals are not by their nature a warlike race. Yet should the king be suffered to remain, it is like that his influence will bring about a change in them. Thus does it behoove us to defeat him quickly, before any lasting damage is done. Make whatever preparations you deem necessary and inform me when you are ready to seek the king. Betcha betcha. Those sightseeing logs are are, uh, are active. Let's go. Oh, wowie. The wards barring access to the king. Oh, all right, let me finish eating. Talking while chewing is a fucking terrible idea. I don't know why I decided to try that. Almost done. to wash it down. Awesome. The wards barring access to the king's sanctuary can only be nullified through the use of enchanted keystones. <clears throat> the self-same method employed five years ago when, when first the king was summoned to Eorzea. It was with great regret that we were forced to sanction the slaying of the guardians who then held the keystones, for none were on our possession at that time. By the grace of the elementals, however, we have been spared that burden on this occasion. Duplo Cop confided in me that he had been trusted with a set of key keystones by the Mongols' guard themselves. Yet wishing not to betray their confidence, he begged me to find some other means to gain entry to the king's sanctum. Alas, I have been unable to do so, and dare not labor any longer, for fear that the Mughals might succumb to the corrupting influence of their liege lord. We must needs have Kublai Khan's keystones, Weeble. Pray go to him, and beg his assistance. He awaits you at West Shore Pier. Impress upon him our great needs, and I am certain he will yield. I'm gonna go bully a Moogle. Ugh. 
I went to take a drink. Now I'm running into a wall. This is the Lancer's Guild that we can teleport to. Okie dokie. Cha-cha, real smooth. One hop this time. Hey, Kublo Copy, your name is amazing. I don't know why everyone calls you by your full name all the time, but it's pretty great. So, how will you do it, Kupo? Oh, he told you about that. Well, if there truly is no other way, I'll do it, Kupo. Take the very sweet bloom pier. I'll go on ahead. Well, that was easy. All right, let's go to Sweet Bloom Pier. I figured it'd be like a like a thing that I'd have to do something for him or beat him up or something. I just gave him to me. Oh my god! Why are those guys so large? Look at those lads. Don't you dare lie to me, Kubo. I know what you're planning, and I won't allow it. Open your eyes, Kubo. The king will never be satisfied, no matter how many crystals you bring him. I, I too am small. We offered you a choice, and this is how you repay us. By consorting with this Lalafell. The Eels, Gridanians, Sylphs, you're no different from the rest of them. Actually, you're worse, Koopa. Traitor to his kings, Moogles. He plots treason against the crown. Enough. Koopa Cop will answer for his crimes soon enough, as will all who defy the will of good king Moggle Mog the Twelfth. May he reign forevermore, Koopa. I am smaller than them. I can't believe I'm smaller than a Moogle. King is planning to purge the Twelve's wood of his enemies, Kupo. We've got to stop him before it's too late. I can't believe I'm smaller than a Moogle. What kind of bullshit is this? The entrance to Thorn March is deep within the Bramble Patch, Kupo. If you take me there, I can nullify the ward. But be warned. The Mogul's Guard has set traps to lure enchanted beasts. I can't hide from them, so you'll need to protect me, Koopo. Koopo comes safely to the water's entrance. Should you fail to defend him or move too far away, I'll return to Sweet Bloom Barry. I may rendezvous with him. You're on again. Esgore mission. You got it. Let me turn on Fist of Fire. Where are we going? Oh, I guess you follow me. Okay. Yo, you better hurry, yep. <laughs> I sense a hostile presence! Where? Oh. Eh. Yo, leave him alone. Did, did you hear that? No, I didn't. What'd you hear, Kuplo? Hmm. Ah, we go this way. Yo, fucking, uh, you better hurry. You better hurry, dude. He's just barely keeping up. Malevolence. <gasps> My God. They come. A true foe. Another one! Now it's a Galaga. My dad really liked that game. Oh my god. <laughs> Who broke off? Do you just like have. I feel like this guy's offended like every single creature in the entire forest. They all hate him, all of them want him to die. Whew. 
Countdown until we get another malevolent pop-up. Three, two, one. Don't look at this thing in the eye. It's creepy. No? There. No. Great. <laughs> it's a marble. Hey, buddy. No, stop there. Whew. That could have been ended much worse. Hmm. Hmm. Thought there was a mark in here. Inside, I was incorrect. We're here, Kubo. I don't see any more beasts, do you? Oh, I see why this is called the Bramble Patch. What does it look like from above? No. Okay. Go, come on. Are you ready to face the King Kupo? Then step closer to the ward. Raise your hand and focus. Like when you return to an a dune to an Aetherite Kupo, I'll open the way for you. I poke the stick. Nice. The rest is up to you, Kupo. Now go and teach those foolish Moogles a lesson. And seen the king back whence he came. The duty finder has been updated with Thorn March. Why is it Thorn March hard? Why isn't it regular Thorn March? I keep pressing the wrong button. Thorn March. No one plays Earth's Fount. That makes me sad. Maybe someone plays Thorn March. We can kill good King Muggle Mug. The twelfth. First of his name. Don't ask me how that works. It's magic, probably. Oh, 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 is magic. <laughs> you know. It says less than five minutes, so hopefully it doesn't jebate us. Because I've gotten that less than four minutes notification, or the less than five minutes notification on uh, Rival Wings before. And uh, it just kept getting pushed back until it was over 30 minutes, and I'd waited for like two hours. <laughs> Don't always trust this. Oak. Hmm. Anything we can do in the meantime? You do go do some fates, I guess. We could start self dailies. Hmm. I'm still not sure if you can switch the class when you're in a, a duty finder. I don't know if you can switch your class and um, still be good. Oh, never mind. Here we fucking go, boys. God, they're adorable. Who 
Well, who in the seven hells are they? Meddling adventurers, I'd wager. Muggles guard to arms! Defend the king, Koopo! Alright. I don't know what's going on, but we're killing Koopty Koop. Ah! I didn't know that would do that! Damn you. How rude. Oopla Pookie the palm burner. Are you a black mage? They do all have different classes, don't they? Right, me bum? Yeah, you right. I am a bum puncher. I'm sorry to say. This seems to be a healer. Good thing I went for him. Ruffle tough coop de kappa. Was he a warrior? Never should have come here. Man, we're just leaving. Have a dance with a Moogle in the pale moonlight. Uh, yay. So this is the bard, I suppose. Nice. Oh, no. I need to shrink this window. This is too big. Hail to the king, Koopo. Oh, my God. <laughs> you all shall suffer for your transgressions against my subjects. Oh my god, I can't see what's going on. Sound effects are still too loud! Oh god, everything stuns! What the hell is that? Oh god! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm lost! I figured you're supposed to go for the healer first. I don't know what this is. Yeah. 
I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Wowie. I don't know what happened. I don't know how any of those mechanics work. You did it, Koopo. You did it. Good King Mogglemog the Twelfth. May his mighty soul rest in peace. Is no more. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not stopped the Moggle's guard when you did. Thank you, Weeble. Perhaps now they'll come to their senses and stop playing at fairy tales. Rest assured that the chieftain will have choice words for them, too. To go tell Pukniepok that the king is no more, Kupo. He's with Ryao at Cape Tranquil. Camp Tranquil and can relay the news to the chieftain. Why won't you? I guess he's just fucking off. Well, that was fun. However, I do need to shrink this. Shrink the fuck out of this. Uh, maybe 90%. Like right there. And ye Right there. Awesome. Now. I wish you could enter the actual number. No. Whew. Because they don't make me not be able to put it at 50. <laughs> That made me so mad, man. Off to Camp Tranquil. You know, Gridania is, uh... Gridania feels really, la like, really empty with its amount of Aethers. Like, Lenosha's got all these, Thanalan has all these, and Black Shroud's got, like, that. Feels mad. It feels. It feels. Bees mate. Feels bad, man. Poop. Poop. Chaku. Papuk. Nipak. Nice. Do I dare believe my ears? Good King Mughalmog the Twelfth, may his magnificent virtue serve as an example to us all, has fallen. All Moodle kind owns you a debt, Kupo, and I sense Ryo wishes to congratulate you as well. Let you two speak without fear of interruption. Nice. I did the thing. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Your bravely bravery in service to the Twelve's Wood and her Moogles shall not be forgotten, Weeble. My sister will doubtless wish to hear the tale of this great victory from the mouth of the man responsible. Pray return to the Lotus Stand and treat her to a full account of the day's events. Well, the details are yet fresh in your mind. Okie dokie. I will tell her that I am the hero. Because it's me. The hero. Obviously. The Conjurer's Guild. Mm, Ta-da! The Elder Sully's here is expecting you. Show me in, yeah. How very pretty this sound, this OST is. Weeble! Kupla Cop says you killed the king. 
I'm pleased, of course, but it completely spoiled the end of your story, you silly ma moogle. Oh my god, spoilers. By Louis Wah's definition, the late King Mooglemog XII was indeed a primal. But how can that be? It defies all precedent. Maybe primals are abstract. Everyone wants to hear your tale, Kubo. What are you waiting for? Tell them, tell them! Hey, I did the thing. I killed the guy. Somehow, I just kind of punched people and then fell over and then got back up. Weevil, you are returned to us unharmed and victorious. Thus have I two reasons to be glad. If many questions remain unanswered, if you'd be so kind as to oblige me, I would fain hear all that occurred in Thorn March. I, re I relay the details of the fight. Then it is as we feared. The king really is a primal. But he really isn't, is he? I mean, the Mughals don't worship him for one thing. He's not even a god to them. That doesn't sound like any primal I've ever heard of. Then mayhap the fault lies with the definition. The fact remains that through a combination of power contained in crystals and the force of their collective faith, the Mughals called forth a being that by rights should not exist. Moreover, when slain, said being left no corpse. The Aether which comprised him instead being scattered to the four winds. According to this accepted definition, he may not be a primal, but the mode of his manifestation was in every respect the same. Which means... Nassians, this whole business reeks of their handiwork. They, they said it was a masked man who taught them how years ago, but... But Gridani has no shortage of masked men, and and I never thought to question. Confound it all! How many more will they ensnare with their tainted gifts? Too many, I fear. So long as the paragons, there are paragons to stir the embers, bulls to build the pyre, and crystals to fill, feed the flames, ever and again shall we suffer primal visitation. Somber thought, but a salutary one. My heartfelt thanks, Weevil. Already the information you have provided has proven invaluable. The Grand Servant Marshal and I have much to discuss. Oh, before you do, my lady, I was hoping we might finish discussing that other matter. The matter of which you speak has even now been settled. The Scions shall not want for support. We shall be glad to send additional supplies to Revenant's Toll. We knew we could count on you, my lady. Walida and I remain to discuss the particulars of our arrangement with the Elder Seed Seer. Mayhap you could return to the Waking Sands and apprise the antecedent of all that has transpired. I am a messenger boy. And away I go. <laughs> Teleporting into the distance. Forever gone. Oh my god. Eteru Yamiko has become a member. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Sincerely. Alright. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Bum. Hey, I did the thing. She doesn't want to talk to me. Where Alpha No go? One second before I talk to you.
I just need to check something. Okie dokie. It is good to see you hale and healthy, Weeple. I received word from Ida and Papa Limo that you had felled good King Mogglemog the Twelfth, but I'd hoped to hear your version of the tale. So it was as they said, summoned with the same methods used by the beast tribes and taught by the Assians. Though unfortunate, this incident did at least serve to remind the Elder Seedseer of our usefulness. Her offer of additional support could not have come at a better time. My thanks, Weeble. I can be your hero, Mom. Let's go to McDonald's. The gifted. Uh oh. Owing, owing to the tireless efforts of all concerned, we are at a long last ready to bid farewell to Vesper Bay. So as to avoid drawing undue attention, we shall make the journey to Revenant's Toll in small groups, departing at regular intervals. Lest you doubt, it is still my intention to conduct further operations openly. But on this particular occasion, the need for caution overrides all other concerns. To move north as one ponderous caravan would only serve to invite attack. It seemed only right that I should be the last to leave. And I would have you remain with me until the end, Weevil. Aww. Until upon my departure, the Waking Sands will formally cease to be our headquarters. And the premises will be given into the care of Rian Jay. I had thought to relinquish the property, but he was quite adamant, and I had not the heart to disagree. These walls have borne witness to some of the brightest and darkest moments in our Order's history. Mayhap it is best that we do not forsake them entirely. Rian Jay shall remain here and devote his energies to studying the nature of primals. By the grace of the Twelve, he will one day discover the permanent solution that we have sought for so long. Of course, he will not be alone. Alizé shall continue to work closely with him as well. Where the hell has she been? Should they require our assistance, I have their assurances that they will not hesitate to contact us. Speaking of Arianne J, would you inquire of him if any tasks remain undone? I cannot escape the feeling that I have forgotten something. Something important. Oh boy. This is about to go terrible. Something important that needs doing, huh? Hey, what do you want? Ah. If I don't do that now. Will I miss it? Okay. I won't miss I, I won't miss this quest if I don't do this. If I don't do that now. Okay, we're good. I can come back and do that later. Thou art ever welcome, Weeble, but I require no assistance. Pray take thy leave unburdened for my concern for my well being. Verily the verily thy countenance bespeaks a desire to quit this place without further delay. Hmm. Mayhap thou thinkest this chapter of our tale concluded. That these halls should rightly be consigned to the annals of history? In man's eagerness to seize the future, how readily he doth set down the past. 
full many a proud pioneer hath bravely stridden into the great unknown. Only there, only to find there the banner of his ancestor, faded by the eons. And still man glorieth in his discoveries. It is through pride that wisdom doth ever give way to ignorance, while they who lurk and shadow remain hidden, lost no sooner than they are found. You are very verbose. Be not offended, Weevil. Thy conduct have hath ever been beyond reproach. Despite thy surpassing strength and uh, all thy many victories, thou hast never been so convinced of thine own greatness as to imagine thyself above the failings of thy forebears. Mayhap it is the echo which hath opened thine eyes to the lessons of history. Would that the same could be said of... this cutscene. Whence came that cry? The solar. Twelve for Fend, the antecedent. Oh my god, is Menphilia dead now? Mom, are you dead? Evil. You. You must. Negative, I'm dead. Tell me, Louis Wah, would you have done the same? Louis Wah Leveilleur Leve was a remarkable man, wise beyond mortal measure. Would that I had met him prior to his passing. Ah, fucking... Anassian. Anassian here. How? How readily you see. You are indeed gifted antecedent. But you... You are not like the others, your rogues. Gifted... But ignorant, yet I shall not judge you harshly. The fault lies with your forebears. It has been millennia. Mine are the robes of an emissary. Unlike he who came before, I have no quarrel with you. He who... You speak of La Habrea. La Habrea is a warrior. He fought. He fell. He may yet learn from his mistakes. And he... He is still... Come. Oh, I only confirm that which you already knew. There's no cessation. No oblivion. Only expulsion. You... What are... We're ready when you are, my lady, if there is nothing else. Is something the matter? The only people with Echo can see an Assian, I suppose. Ah, I feel the same way. And for everything that's happened here, it feels strange to leave. But I'm sure we'll soon get used to Revenant's toll. Well, I'll let you say your goodbyes. Take as long as you like, my lady. We shall depart whenever you're ready. It is only to be expected. She lacks the gift and the knowledge both. To her, we are indistinct. I... I do not understand. Shadowless, fleshless, formless. What truth there is in each tale is diluted by time and telling. Knowledge dictates expectation, and expectation colors perception. Thus, did she perceive not? So it is with all but a chosen few. Even you, when young, could not yet see with eyes unclouded. 
You know nothing about me. Something on my desk just fell. Something on my desk just fell, but nothing fell. I don't get it. Nothing. The gift grants you clarity. It grants you focus. With it, you may in time come to see us as we are, rather than this crude approximation. La Habrea did not th think so highly of the Echo. La Habrea is wrong about a great many things. The Echo is indeed a gift, albeit one you have yet to master. And if we did, there would be no strife between our peoples, for we would be of one mind. I leave as I came, in peace antecedent. May we meet again as friends. Wait, stay where you are. Uh. Oh my god. Mayhap I was indelicate. It is a mercy she shields her children from his grace with such resolve. Was it also by her hand that you survived the ardor, I wonder? Wow, what a dick. I'm gonna punch him in the shin. I... I take it there is no need to explain. Yo, Mom, you good? Save your concern, he did me no lasting harm. Whatever his intention was, it was not to kill. I heard a cry. What happened? Are you all right? You look faint. Do you need to lie down? I can fetch you a flask of my special tonic. Orion Chase, send word to the students of Baldesian. Tell them to scour the archives. The Forbidden Tomes in particular. If there is any reference to an Asian robed in white, however oblique, I wouldn't know of it. Nassian, my lady? Was that what gave you cause to cry out? I did but moments ago glimpse a figure clad in white, set forth from the waking sands. Itassians are wont to employ teleportation magics. Why would one be so brazen? I know not and care not. Find him, Weevil. Turn every stone in Vesper Bay if you have to. Pray attend me, Tataru. Fucking teleporting Asians coming in and out of our base. <sighs> Man. Does no one respect the locked door anymore? It's coming and out of here. King lives. Oh no. Are you going to send me back to King to kill the King Mogulmog? Oh no. Amongst Mughal kind, the legend of good King Mogulmog the Twelfth doth tell of a wise and magnanimous ruler. Alas, the entity thus summoned put the lie to this imagining with his brief and decidedly unpeaceful reign. It was most disturbing for me to learn, then, that the Mughal's guard have once more succeeded in placing their manic potentate among, upon his thorny throne. Methinks the agents of chaos doth lurk in the shadows of this deed. Only with the Asian's guileful intervention could they have called the king back from the Aether with such haste. As ever it falls to thee, to the blind born of light, to banish the Paragon's dark ambition from our realm. The Twelve only know what dire power doth corrupt the savior of these gentle forest folk. The name has been called, Weevil. A more moderate faction of the Mughals hath joined with the Order of the Twin Adder, 
in an effort to open the a path to the good king's domain. I bid thee make haste to the adder's nest, and once more pledge thine aid in disposing this royal myth made flesh. Fucking King Moggle Mog. I don't really feel comfortable doing that fight until I know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Hey, did you find him? Tell me he's gone, Weevil. Tell me we're safe. We are safe, aren't we? Search Vesper Bay for the Assian. Did you see anything? Can I go in the river? No. And by river, I mean ocean. The ocean is like a big river, if you think about it. He hasn't seen him. Wait a minute, there's a thing on my map. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing out of you? I am told that you are the warrior of light. But I would know for myself. shall walk in north, and you may choose to follow. Know, however, that you will be waylaid if you do. You may even perish. Should you survive, we will speak anon. I guess I just go and kill the enemy here. Alrighty. I will speak to you and now. I'm being judged. But why didn't you target that guy? Ah. All these brutish imps. My word. What a brute. I ripped off that guy's wing and I put it in my pocket. Now I got an imp wing. It's worth a total of one gill. It's Garbo. And then I can do this. They kill everything. Oh my god. A gruesome gargoyle. He dead. I killed all the demons. Did I fulfill your requirements, my lord? Whoa! Big whale. I'm helping! I'm being judged, oh my god, there's more of them. Was a lot of Assians that I just murdered. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. I thank you for granting me this indulgence. None save he who bested La Habrea could endure such an examination. 
have the laws of man grown so twisted in my absence that it is now permitted to lay hands upon an emissary. You bore witness to my audience with the antecedent, did you not? Then you know I acted only in self-defense. I realize the same cannot be said of La Habrea. Even amongst his brethren, he is considered unique. Nevertheless, I cannot wholly condemn his misdeeds, for through them we discovered you. One so strong in the gift that he could cast us out. Your mother favors you still. That much is plain. But surely you must feel it. Her influence wanes, and her strength shall soon be spent. These lands, these people, this world... All shall soon change. As it was, so it shall be again. As it always sh should have been. Doubt my claims and question my motives if you will. Only believe me when I say this. I am Elidibus, emissary, bearer of the word of the one true God. And we shall meet again. Okay, bye, Crow, crow Mask Men. Got a bird mask. His name ain't even Harvey. Oh my god, oh, he's gone. Freaky. Well, back to the Waking Sands, I suppose. <laughs> Crazy good. Don't mind me, I've not been abducted, I swear. This is normal. What a... Where are you, Weeble? Did you find the man in white? Well, what am I doing? The antecedent is waiting for you. I did it, I saved the world. I didn't really, but I'm going to say that I did to make myself feel better. Hey, Man hey, hey Manvillia, you dead? Hey, old girl, you dead? Hi, Mom. Think the gods you've returned, Weeble? After you left, I began to worry that I might have sent you to your due. I take it our visitor proved elusive? No, he proved Elidibus. Beg pardon, he was waiting for you. What did you do? What did he say? As it was, so it shall be again. Of when does he speak? And of what exactly? The words of this Elidibus portend much, but reveal nothing. They have perhaps a measure of disdain for La Habrea. Oh, I had hoped for answers, but it seems I shall have to be content with a wealth of additional questions. A final favor. This is the end of this patch's quests, and thus the end of this stream after we finish. Let us set aside the matter of this Astian until after we have completed our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favor I would ask of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. The truth, however, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was their spy. He maintained the deception for nigh on half a decade, furnishing the resistance with vital imperial secrets while feeding his paymasters subtly conceived misinformation. When he died some 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I have closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believed to be the single greatest threat to Eorzea, the Primals. Its wisdom has guided me through the years, though there is much within I do still do not understand. It is my hope that Urian J will fare better. Tell him to treat it with care. It is all I have left of my father. Warburton. Warburton. The 
name feels familiar to say for some reason. Warbird. That name just feels crazy familiar. I thought thee departed. To what end dost thou linger? I got you a book. The legacy of Menphilius father who perished in the Praetor in 1562 when a gubu broke free of its magical fetters and ran amok through the streets of Ulda. Contains a wealth of stolen imperial research on the primals as well as other information which is yet to be deciphered. I've seen that scene. The father's final bequest. The daughter's lifelong labor. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. Well, can I imagine the antecedent's pain? Upon mine honor, I swear to spare no effort in the study of these materials, lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. Snake, this is Colonel. Weevil, this is Menphilia. Forgive me, but I could wait no longer. I have departed for the Rising Stones. If you have yet to... Once you have given the journal to Wirianje, I bid you come to the Seventh Heaven in Revenant's Toll. The Taru will be there to show you inside our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it, you may wish to make use of our new Aetherite in Revenant's Toll. After all, it is right on our doorstep. Hi. And teleport. I don't have to use tickets anymore, dude. It's great. Uh. I wonder if it's purple here. No, he's normal colored. Unfortunately. Oh, Weevil, you're here. Good, good. We were all wondering when you'd show up. As I was just telling your restive receptionist here, I'm pleased to inform you that all the documents have been prepared and all signatures signed. The Rising Stones is officially yours. Nodders. Splendid. From this day forward, I will spare no effort in seeing that it is as welcoming and comfortable a home for us as the Waking Sands ever was. That said, this is all somewhat intimidating, is it not? So many unfamiliar places and unfamiliar faces. Revenant still popular is populated mostly by adventurers, which means, as you might expect, that there's quite a bit of coming and going. Emphasis on the coming, at least of late, or with the investigation of the Crystal Tower hitting full stride. I've lost track of how many fortune seekers and scholars have shown up in the past few days alone, hoping to unearth ancient secrets. I don't suppose the tower has piqued your interest as well. I'm working on it. You've already offered your aid to the effort, you say? You certainly move quickly, my friend. If I were otherwise occupied with my duties here, I'd have half a mind to join you. Alas, I'll have to settle for hearing the tales of all you've seen upon your return. Be safe in there, yes? You got it, Mustacheman. Why, that's wonderful to hear. Rest assured that this receptionist will work just as hard to see that your efforts do not skip a beat despite the relocation. And with that, Weevil, I do believe it's time for you initial I do believe it's time you officially announced your presence to everyone inside. The antecedent and the others will surely be overjoyed to see you. Welcome to New Home. In order to progress the main scenario, you must first complete certain quests in the Crystal Tower series. While you are granted a respite from your duties as a scion, use your time to probe the depths of the Crystal Tower and see what ancient secrets may be gleaned. Oh god. 
I have to do. Uh, I gotta do quite uh, the Crystal Tower. Welcome to our new home, the Rising Stones. Isn't it lovely? But why are you standing around here talking to me? Everyone's waiting for you inside. No entry. Except for me, because I'm cool. Oh wow, this place is pretty neat. As ravishing as ever. Perhaps for old times' sake she would... Gods, people don't sneak up on me like that. We bards are an easily startled lot. Are you a bard? Then why do you keep doing backflips and stabbing people with a knife? I don't think you're a bard. Oh, you wish to help? That's very kind of you, but I can manage on my own. Besides, you should be out there having grand adventures, not withering away here with me. What if I want to wither away? Wiltanay, who are you? I did not realize the science had moved until I had arrived in Vesper Bay. Thankfully, Urianche was kind enough to direct me here. I know I've only just joined, but if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. SCP-2379? That is indeed an SCP. I don't remember which one it is. How are you, Kitaru? And thank you again for becoming a member. I hope you enjoy the emotes. As you can see, our Charlayan allies have furnished us with a wealth of new tomes. It would be prudent of, for you to broaden your knowledge as well. Can I read? Oh my god, I can... Wait. Never mind, I cannot read. Hori Boulder. Oh, the horror. The horror. I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like sweat. No. No, Montoy sauce. No. Victory. Yeah, victory. Victory smells like victory. Wowie. So here we are. Completely independent and unquestionably neutral. Or at least more so than before. Truth be told, I cannot say it feels that different. Of course, Eda begs to differ. I think she's having fun. Man, look at all these tables. Oh, hey, look who it is. Is it not wonderful, Weevil? Nary a single presumptuous merchant has darkened our door. I know full well they will come in time, but for now, let us enjoy the respite. I imagine there will be fewer. Now, instance in the area of the Rising Stones, too. Oh my god. Oh, hey! I know you! You're the guy that sold us the place. Well, it's cer it is certainly spacious. Got all this room for activities. Oh my god. Today marks the new beginning for the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. For today we declare our independence. We shall henceforth be beholden to no nation. Let's serve all of Eorzea's people, proudly and openly. But this does not mean that we will sever our ties to the Eorzean Alliance. On the contrary, the Antecedent and I shall endeavor to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that we shall not permit political considerations to influence our decisions. 
Our identity remains unchanged, as does our cause. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Nodders. Or Eorzea. Yay. A moment of your time, Weeble. I would speak of Elidibus. Oh, well, hey, look who showed up. Pardon the intrusion, my lady, but the matter which bringeth me will admit no delay. My every attempt to contact the students of Baldesian hath been met with silence. No one will respond. How odd. Allow me to try. Colonel. Trying to sneak around. No response. Surely they would not ignore us. They have never yet, my lady. I fear we must assume the worst. No. No, I will not believe it. An outpost, perhaps, but not their headquarters. Their words are beyond circumvention. If they come under attack, they would most certainly have raised the alarm. None could penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But for those who lack the gift and the knowledge both... Oh no. Contact their agents in the field at once. If aught has fallen, befallen the students of Baltesi and they may know of it. One second, I think I should turn myself up because it's, uh, it's late and I'm being quieter now. Though the thought of it pains me, until such a time as we have evidence to the contrary, we can but assume the worst. Accordingly, we must need seek another source of information on Elidibus. It is possible the others in the homeland are possessed of such knowledge. Be fairly warned, however. They are unlike to yield it unconditionally. Do what you must. Yet another unforeseen and unwelcome development. What could be next, I wonder? A visit from a cram crimson clad Massian, perhaps? Or Ochre? Or Puce? And which of our allies will then fall silent? For a time, I thought we had gained the upper hand. When you shattered the Crystal of Darkness and cast out La Habrea, I dared to hope that we had found a way to rid ourselves of the Assian menace. But I was wrong. He endures and may yet return. Upon that point, I have no doubt that Elidibus spoke true. Yet there must be a way to destroy them utterly. A way to spare this world their unholy machinations. I dare not consider the alternative. There are forces at work we do not understand, Weeble. I discern them all around. And disturbances too great and too numerous to be dismissed as a mere coincidence. Doubtless the Paragons are involved, but how and to what end is far from clear. I know not what will come, but I do know that we will rise and meet it as one. Ah, my stalwart hero. Your face is a picture of resolve. I know that you will be ready when the time comes. With luck, however, that shall not be for a while yet. Pray return to your private affairs with my blessing. Should anything arise, you will be informed. Trial. Real? Real. Where are you? In a while, Rocco Krile. Your intercession was not foretold. You object? We question. 
Our plans are in motion. Your intentions unclear. They survived the seventh order and now str are now stronger in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? No, it does not. Serve as you will, so too shall I. We labor not at cross purposes. The wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time. When the veil is lifted from their eyes, and at long last, they see. Nice. The realm awoken. Bum ba da ba. Nice. Seventh umbral era. Um, or astral era. Seventh Astral Era. Completo. Hell yeah, dude. How many more patches do we have? Two. Three. Four, four or five. We got a lot to do. Anyway, that will be it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out. I'm happy to be able to stream. Had a bit of a panic these past few days. But being able to stream confidently feels real good, man. I hope you all had a good time. Because I certainly love this game and I'm always happy to make more progress in it. Alrighty. I'm going to head out. I hope you all have a good night. And I'll see you all. Later. <laughs>